Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we begin, let me just say that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Libra people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. Please do know that you should use your own sense of intuition if th this reading is actually saying something to you or not and you know remember the keywords that i keep repeating all throughout the video as that is the most um, significant way for you to know what the energies are going to play out for you um, in terms of whatever situation you're going through for this month so libra um for let me just say that, you know, when I was doing this reading, I was very excited at the same time, very nervous because I know that, you know, things have not really been working out for a lot of Libra people out there. So I kind of get that, this idea that, okay, what's going to happen next? Is there going to be some form of stagnancy? But, you know, I haven't really read through the entire spread. So I'm going to do that with you guys. But there are, you know, interesting cards that are showing up here which i feel is it's like a news of good news <laughs> you know to come for you especially this month and it gives that feeling that maybe the entire year has been on a downside for you you didn't really enjoy it you didn't you didn't you didn't in, enjoy the situation but you know it's nothing really special and maybe for some of you it's just a bore boredom kind of energy you know nothing bad happened but at the same time nothing good happened as well but for some of you guys maybe like at the beginning of the year things were in on the rocky side especially with your relationships and you know it just went on a downhill from there on but um this month of december is going to be like so different for you guys libra so um yeah without any further ado let's just go into the reading so we get to see the details on what this month is going to be all about for you in terms of your love life relationships and personal connections with the people around you as well so we are starting the reading with this ten of pentacles now the Ten of Pentacles is always a, an omen of good fortune. This could be telling us that this is a time of um, much wealth. You could be earning a lot or you could be in a situation wherein you're just focusing on career and stability, wanting to earn money, all of those kinds of things. Um, because we do have this Tower card over here, you know, the first and the third card always have some form of correlation to them. So I always, you know, compare them. Because the tower card over here, the third card of the spread that we are doing right now, really tells us the foundation into things. You know, what is the basis or concern of the situation. So there are different ways how this can really occur. And one of them is that it could be that, you know, tower is all about changes. It's not always about downfalls and breaking things up or it's not always about the negative things in life it could be that um there was a sudden change in your career you know or sudden insight may have come to you and you suddenly have the urge to want to do more work uh, which can you know lead you to some form of wealth some form of material um material i would say gifts or you know rewards all those kinds of things you know you are really having this a lot of focus on your and your finances money and security so that's the kind of energy that we are picking up over here it is being crossed over by the emperor card which is another you know entrepreneur card you know i would say this can also be a situation wherein you know there could be um security relating to a man um that you did not have a good relationship with so now i'm comparing these three cards because 
the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor card is always about the connections and the influence between the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor card. It could be that, you know, you are in concern or in focusing right now into the energy of a specific man in your life or a specific person in your life that maybe was very materialistic or it could be a someone who is very career oriented all at the same time or someone that you know along along those areas of life it could be a person that that gave you a sense of security you know made you feel really good and better about yourself but with the existence of this tower card being the basis of the reading this can really tell me that you know something did not really occur quite well in that relationship or in that connection something fell apart probably and maybe you have already broken up with that person so what i'm doing right now is giving you a lot of information on how this can actually turn out and this could be something that already happened in the past you know and it could be that the focus is coming in this month again so and it could also be a situation that you're going through right now so you just have to see where this is really happening for you so um we can say that you know there is really something that was amiss to whatever situation that that is and this is something that you're working on and this is something that you want to improve maybe uh I'll, all i'm seeing here is that you know we have here the nine of pentacles as a fourth card that we have which is in the immediate past it gives me a strong energy here that um you have been working with yourself you know this is not about you being focused on a relationship i mean you wanted to be in a relationship but you just cannot seem to find a person that you can really devote to and i kind of feel that you know um the past few months didn't really matter when it comes to matters of the heart for you but this month um, makes you that you know aha moment or it makes you crave for intimacy and makes you crave to have a relationship once again and it could also be a month wherein you know you thought that you don't care about a specific person anymore with your ex or something like that i know a lot of people would say i don't care about my ex and stuff like that i mean yes it happens it's just that in this reading i kind of feel that you know something is coming back there is that form of energy that you thought that you don't care about a specific person it doesn't mean that they're gonna go back or anything like that i mean we'll see later on if that is the energy but um what i'm getting here is that what you think you felt before have gone away suddenly you have the urge of wanting that energy back again and you're thinking more of the future that i should have done better i should have you know there's a lot of should have and would have you know a lot of um i'm not seeing this as more of a regret but you know you are accepting what has happened in the past and there's a, a an energy of you looking forward to the future and at the same time there's an energy of if i will have the chance to to redo things i want to make it right and i'm hoping to get it right so there is that form of energy but i think you know this is a very typical soul connection and karmic situation that we're going through we're in in the past you're too focused on the other person and right now this month of december i kind of feel that you are focusing more on outside of the spiritual connection you're focusing more on the material side of life in which you don't care before you know maybe you did not really think about career or work in the past you are all about love and relationships and now um you're so interested <laughs> with career you know you're trying to improve yourself and trying to trying to be independent and and stuff like that and then suddenly the energy just really shifts and it opens a path it opens a path not a path it opens a pathway for you to to have some form of um 
I don't know. It's like you're having a spiritual connection with someone that you thought you have lost touch with. It could be a spiritual connection. It could also be, you know, there's going to be some form of initial contact. I just kind of feel that someone that was so far away from you right now seems closer again. So I'm not saying that there's going to be a getting back together phase and stuff like that. I just kind of feel that, you know, there is a very familiar energy surrounding you once again. And, um, over here you know you are a lot more positive now we have the sun card you have a lot of positivity in you and if you have been very pessimistic in the past um there is a sense now that you know maybe you're googling or doing a research on law of attraction again and manifestation even when you lost interest in this maybe there was something that has occurred for you in the past that has made you feel so hopeless and lost all the hope in the world and right now suddenly there's a sense of optimism in the air that's surrounding your energy surrounding your mind and making you feel that everything is just possible and this is actually a very good thing because you deserve to be happy and you deserve to actually attract the things that you want to attract but you know the only difference right now is that you are not having any rigid thoughts and you're actually, you know, accepting what has occurred in to your situation. And there's a sense of you of, you know, you have a let go kind of energy, which is a really wonderful thing, because when you let go, you are really opening the opportunity, opening doors for opportunity to really um, let things come to you you know there's no um, no restrictions no resistance I would say um, that is happening now this is the most interesting thing that I have seen because now we have here the Empress card so this is um, a really wonderful energy it could be a sense wherein you might be very Venusian especially since um libra and venus has a strong connection right there so there's could there could be a saying uh, a sense of that there's going to be a very venusian energy with you maybe you're taking care more of yourself because you are focused on yourself right now you're not focusing on other people and you're not also um disregarding what is happening to you personally there's a, it gives me a feeling that there's going to be some form of good fortune and happiness to come for you um it makes you feel very attractive all at the same time now the interesting thing here is that we have here the empress card and here we have the emperor card so that is saying something and um their connection here if i do the, the um this kind of reading um they have the ten of pentacles which is what's um bonding them together so i would say that there could be a connection between a man and a woman but i'm not seeing the getting back together face i just kind of feel that there is a connection going you know maybe a mental connection we do have the the ace of swords here there could be a new beginning of some kind you know a spark of things especially that you know all aces is all about beginnings and remember the ace of swords is a very air sign so mercury right it's all about communication so maybe something uh, you don't have any connection with this person anymore and right now and suddenly this month of december there's some form of mental connection you know a spiritual and mental connection and maybe there's going to be some form of communication as well so um that is actually very interesting all at the same time I just kind of feel that, you know, there's a lot of thoughts that is going to come through. And maybe, you know, this could be a form of idea. It could be that, you know, it could be that the other person that you're dealing with, the man, if that is, if you're a woman, and, you know, just vice versa kind of thing. Um, it could be that they have the idea to think about you this month. 
and that could lead into something especially that we do have the lover's card here now another let's go back to what i said earlier about you know about a relationship that fall apart because the lovers and the tower card are together right here it makes me feel that you guys had a relationship and things there was some form of sudden disruption in that relationship that has occurred in the past but now um, there's really opening up for something here and the lover's card is not just about love and relationships but it's all about decision making and this could be a pathway that you know triggers for things to actually move and especially that i kind of feel that this lover's card is going to influence the other person the other person's actions so they might be thinking about you wanting to take action to you it could be a sense of very passionate energy all at the same time now um you will come to a point wherein you might have to make a decision should i go back with this person or should i not i mean they have caused me so much misery and i'm okay now i don't need to deal with certain things so you could be in a situation wherein you will have the choice on where to go uh, with this it could also be uh, have a lot to do with waiting you know maybe you are the type of person who has been still waiting for that soulmate of yours because you feel and you think that that person is your soulmate that person is your twin flame so you are gonna you know there's a lot of emphasis in that and with the seven of pentacles here it gives me that feeling wherein the universe is telling you that hey i know you have been waiting for such a long time and i want you to know that it's actually worth it this is worth it you know there's a lot of tests that always happens especially if you're dealing with a soulmate connection a karmic connection but this is really telling us that you know all your patience all the hard work that you have done before all all of this things that are happening in your life and everything is there for a reason and it's all worth it and i usually don't show this on video <laughs> because i just want to entirely focus on the tarot cards but um aside from the tarot cards you guys know that you know when i do readings i actually pull random cards to give accuracy into the reading for me to be able to give you guys more information and i actually got this card <laughs> which i usually don't show up um here this is actually a, a shamanic deck that i have and um yeah you cannot see the words i think but it's actually saying reunion of souls <laughs> yeah you cannot see because that's how that's just a deck work i mean i like the drawings and stuff like that it's just that it's so hard to read so um yeah this is actually the reunion of soul so that is really the biggest influence into this reading so there could be some form of reunion but i'm not seeing that the, there is a physical reunion i mean not yet but i feel that there could be like maybe at the end of the month or as you enter the new month uh, i don't know i just kind of feel that there could be a trigger point to actually reunite with that person to talk with that person again it makes me feel that you know it's that point of your life or in uh, things were not exactly okay things are not happening in the way that you are desiring things to be but um, there's going to be some form of effort going to be done it gives me a feeling we're in your this month i kind of feel that for many of you you are going to be thinking about the person but there's no co communication yet however the communication is coming through the communication is about to enter the scene so this is uh like giving you a, a i would say a glimpse of what can happen and it's actually telling you not to be pessimistic about it but to to accept what has happened you know you don't have to dwell on what has occurred i mean it's very easy to to reconcile and get back with your your past lover 
or stuff like that but it's so hard to maintain it i mean um i had many clients who always get back with their, their partner but they always had troubles with maintaining their relationship and that is because they always bring up the past into the situation and that is something something that you have to avoid as much as possible when something happens for you and it's something that's actually good you need to treat it with respect as well and try to um, be thankful of the reconnection especially for those who have been really waiting it out you know it's something that they desire within their core and i kind of feel that there's really going to be something that occurs for the month of december it's gonna be happening in a very intuitive way very spiritual way but as we move forward with december you know there's going to be some form of sudden happening like sudden happening it could be sudden message sudden communication that can come through and that is going to be you know a perfect way for you to welcome the year ahead and hopefully it gives you a fresh start because i know that how you begun 2020 um went to a different direction at the very least for those libra that i'm tuning in right now i kind of i'm feeling that kind of energy so um yeah thank you guys for watching and sharing in with me i do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to the situation that you're going through and if you are someone who's been waiting for your soulmate and twin flame then you have the good news and i send you all the blessings in the world out there and accept that gift this is a very exciting time because it makes you feel that even though that there's a lot of negativity in the air with the covid and all of that it, there is an energy here that will tell you as if you tell yourself that it's all worth worth it you know there's there's just that kind of energy i don't know what is the specifics but yeah there is something out there that's gonna tell you that it is worth it so um yeah um if you do want a more personal reading with me you can do that by booking a session with me but you can <laughs> email me from my website in the stars by chrissy at gmail.com for inquiries because my website is currently down you can probably see my website up again by next week or so i'm not yet sure i'm still fixing a lot of stuff but um yeah i'll see you guys again next year goodbye